Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to uh, let you know I got some mail today, and uh, as long as, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about holsters and, and uh, what, what makes a good holster, what makes a good holster good, and one of the things that comes up all the time when people ask about holsters, somebody always invariably says, hey, get alien gear, and uh, so, look, alien gear, hey, alien gear, oh, alien gear. And today, as you may remember, they contacted me about uh, about a week and a half ago, I guess, and said they've got some new stuff that they want me to uh, try out. So I just got the mail today. I haven't even opened it, so you guys get to witness that. First, though, let me tell you about... Uh, let me fix that a little bit. Alien gear as it's been. So about, uh, oh, I guess, three years ago, four years ago, I got this one. This was the very first one. I guess this is like their first generation, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's their regular design, the Kydex shell, and then uh, this is actually with the leather backing. Um, it's there's nothing to it. It's just a piece of leather, a piece of Kydex, and then these metal clips. As you can see, despite the fact that this is screwed down all the way, uh, that clip just doesn't do its thing. There's these two extra big giant rivets here. You can see they're these big things. But there's nothing on the other side. Uh, this is to be, this is to adjust the ride height so you can put the clips a little higher, a little lower, but when there's nothing in them, they just kind of stick out. And guess where these go? Right up against you. Uh, so the big problem with these, you know, hybrid holsters, of course, is uh, the, the, the biggest problem that I have, it's not that they're uncomfortable, it's not that they're, uh, you know, anything like that. The problem, and I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's a good angle right there. So yeah, this is curving in, okay? So this is, this, is, this is not good. It's not what you want. You don't want anything interfering with putting your gun into that, into that holster. You don't want anything flapping over when you're trying to go for your draw. Stuff gets in the way, folds down in, gets might get caught in the trigger guard. That's how you end up shooting yourself uh, in the ass, to put it bluntly. You guys have probably seen the picture. There's a great picture of a guy who apparently did that. Uh, to to be honest, um, of of the various Alien Gear holsters that I've that I've had that I've had sent to me. Uh, oh, and, and hang on, one, one other thing on this one, real quick. This leather. Uh, this is, this is just not really high quality leather. I mean, there's nothing on the back here. This is, this is all right up against you. Okay. Uh, God, God help you if you're going commando and that's right up against your skin all day long. Um, whatever. Uh, but, uh, as I, I was going to say, of, of all the alien gear holsters that I've, that I've been sent, again, uh, these are, uh, these, these are sent, these are review samples sent to us. Uh, this is the only one that I ever carried for any considerable t amount of time. Like I said, this is kind of a long time ago. I carried my XD in this, so uh, <laughs> I've come a long way. Uh, the second one that they sent me, which was supposed to be, you know, the, the big uh, next step up, was is uh, this guy here, which is... Essentially the same, uh, you know, same kind of design. Uh, it's the Kydex shell. The difference here, they went with the more comfortable uh, neoprene backing. And this does have a, a pretty heavy-duty stiffener on the inside of this to keep it from being too soft. Uh, the, the, the problem that I had with that, among other things, is uh, even after torquing everything down, tightening all of the screws... Uh, yeah, it, it came apart the very first day I wore it, uh, and the very last time I wore it, too. Um, and, of course, you know, people are going to say, well, put some put some Loctite on it. Uh, you know, if if one of the big selling points of these holsters is the, the modularity, being able to, to swap these out, you know, whenever, uh, easily, putting Loctite on it to keep one uh, shell in place is counterproductive, uh, counterintuitive. 
Uh, the other thing I want to say with this particular one is uh, these these little clips are garbage. Um, I actually did have to replace these. Uh, the uh, when I was just fitting it, just just test test fitting it to see how I want it to ride. I, I snapped one of them. Um, I used this with a uh, uh, a Sig two twenty six. Um, with the screws, like I said, enough tension in it to hold it together. Putting the gun in here with this stiffener and that torsion draw was almost impossible. I mean, it was so difficult with the strength of those screws plus, you know, the, the belt holding it up against my body. I just, I couldn't draw the gun. Um, if you're carrying a gun because you think you might need it, the worst possible thing would be to not be able to get it out of your holster. All right, third one. This guy, this little skinny guy. I got this one with the shell for the uh, my high power, actually, because I don't really have a lot of holsters for my high power. It's not a carry gun, you know. I'm, I don't carry it really, so uh, I haven't invested much. Uh, but let me tell you the, my concerns with this one. Uh, I do like that it's a little slimmer profile. This isn't outside the waistband, uh, so it's not getting tucked in like those other two. Uh, what I don't like is uh, this this uh, the belt loop here. What I don't like about it is that it is awfully darn flexible. Uh, it's You don't want to have that much flex in it when it's on your belt. You don't want it to have any kind of give, any kind of play when it's riding on the belt. You want it to stay in place, to keep the draw consistent, safe, sturdy, etc. Uh, I also don't like the backing of the neoprene of the uh, kydex itself, just fairly unfinished. Um, I don't know. I, I I didn't really use this one a whole lot because, like I said, for one thing, I don't, I don't carry that uh, that high power around very much, and I just this this just made me uncomfortable. So I didn't do it. So now that brings us to. What I'm expecting here is the Cloak Tuck 3.5, which will be uh, for my Glock. This gun is clear, nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. And the appendix, no, I'm sorry, that's going to be the uh, appendix rig for my Glock and then the Cloak Tuck 3.5 for my CZ P07. That's also empty and clear. So let's open it up and see. Got some nice uh, first impressions here. One potato, two potato. All right, that's that. Let's start with the CZ first. So this one does say designed for designed for a Glock 19, etc., etc. So uh, we'll, we'll look at that one in a minute. But let's let's start with the CZ one. And these are uh, these are zippered bags, but I got a little careless and I cut it. So there we go. Alright, so as usual, nice big bag full of various clips, different sizes, heights, I don't know, whatever. Uh, and yeah, it does come with the uh, additional spacers, additional hardware, screws. Uh, whatnot for adjusting the size. Again, this is the Cloak Tech 3.5 IWD inside the waistband holster. Hey, look, it looks just like the other one. Big differences I notice right away are the new one is completely sealed up on the back. The old one still got them screws sticking out. You can see the difference in that, in that, uh, Backing too, it looks like a little padding on that one. This one maybe has a little bit there too. Uh, 
the neoprene padding itself is it's a lot softer. I mean, it doesn't seem uncomfortable, but uh, the uh, the old one just some empty uh, holes there in the leather to put your screws in. The new one's got some neat little hook things there. I guess a little eyelet for for mounting these. I'm not sure how exactly that works, but. Uh, God, that backing is, is darn stiff. So, let me see. And this is for the CZP07. And, right off the bat, it doesn't fit. So, that is catching right there on the trigger guard. This uh, does appear to be the correct one for the P07. You can see the little grooves there that uh, it's going to take that up. And a little dimple there for the uh, uh, disassembly lever. Uh, <laughs> but somehow I'm not surprised that that didn't work. Uh, so. God, that's freaking hard to do too. Oh, look at that. Wow. Well, I just kind of muscled it in there. That's. And I'm pointing that gun at myself, I know. And I could see that that's uh, not fitting right on that trigger guard. It's uh, it's entirely too tight. That's that's just not a not a proper fit at all. Um, these appear to be the large spacers already in here, so that's that's as much room as that gun's going to get. So, uh, we are roughly two minutes into this test, and this is already out the window. Well, let's see if we have any better luck with the Glock. All right, all the same stuff, all the same stuff. Oh, so what I should have mentioned again was that this, this is the appendix rig. So this is the uh, shape shift uh, holster set up for, for appendix carry. Oh, I forgot about that. So let's uh, start right off. What's that? what it looks like yeah so that's that by comparison this is my CNC holsters rig uh, that I carry my Glock in because uh, alien gear is um, 10 years behind I guess they don't make this uh, they don't make a light bearing holster for this uh, they don't make it um, in any any configuration to accept a Surefire X300U, uh, A or B. They don't uh, take any TLR1s, they don't take uh, anything like that. Basically all they will fit is a certain line, certain options of uh, Viridian lasers. I, I don't have an ex explanation for that. Uh, but so, okay, so let's look at it. So it's got the shell on the inside there. It's got this weird little, I don't know, arm that goes over it. That's, that's actually two pieces. That's not, that's not come uh, together there. We can, you know, separate that there. See, uh, looks like it's just got some screws here for tension and, uh, Locking, unlocking, probably assembly and disassembly. Uh, again, it's got that same neoprene backing, no screws, no hardware sticking out through the back. Uh, one thing that I was concerned about was that this wasn't going to accept my my uh, RMR. I did take the uh, uh, KKM Precision Barrel and Compensator out because I know it's not going to fit in here. Uh, they don't make one of these in a Glock 34 size, uh, which is what I would have needed to, to fit with that uh, 
that KKM gear on it. Okay, oh, hang on, let me show you one other thing. This whole piece is, is separate, okay? So, really, this is what's holding the gun on this side, and this is what's up against you, and they are not together in any way, shape, or form. I don't like that. But, let's see how it fits the gun. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't want to work with the RMR, so there is a little bit without, with the RMR on it, there is, uh, it's not quite all the way in, um, I don't know that there's going to be any kind of lock in place, there's no retention on it, uh, so I don't think it needs to slide down to, to grab anything, um, it concerns me that the trigger is exposed a little bit right there, but I think uh, I think the front of it's covered up enough. You know, if you, something gets in there, it's gonna be in the back side of it. Um, I'll take the RMR off before I actually start testing with it, but I just kind of wanted to uh, see how this fits and how it how it feels. Let's. Uh, Let's do some belt adjusting here real quick. And, uh, you guys don't need to see my fat belly. But you're going to see it in a second anyway, because I'm going to show you my appendix carry with this. Alright, so let's uh, give this thing a tuck here. Okay. Yeah, first thing. It's exactly what I was afraid of. So, let me pan down a little bit. I'll just back up a little bit like that. So, uh, here it is. Oh, look at that. Already stepping on the old ones there. So, here it is. I am wearing it now. My little pumps on. This uh, neoprene on here. Just in a relaxed state. I'm not sucking it in for the ladies. Uh, this is already flopping over. This is already folding over. That's that's a I I dislike that a lot. Uh, I'm gonna take this like that. Again, this is still empty. I'll just decock that too. And okay. Well, this might be one of those things where, uh, you know, I, I, I mean, to be honest, it's not a, a, it's not at all uncomfortable. It's a little, feels a little thicker. Uh, I think just because of the way that plastic is, it, it just kind of bulks out a little bit more. I'm not sure if we can you know, see it. <laughs> You can see how much it's success, but it's it's not too bad. It's 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 holding tight. Um, again, this isn't with the uh, KKM barrel and compensator, which in my gun makes it <laughs> a little bit longer. Uh, adds about an inch and a half uh, to the to the length of the barrel. That CNC holsters setup has a uh, has a foam wedge on it that puts pressure backwards uh, into your. Uh, as it's up against your body, it presses the holster out to keep the top end of the gun tucked in. This one doesn't have that, and so uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is, I, I can see it from, from my angle, I can see it kind of sticking out a little bit more than usual, where the KKM is usually really nice and flush. Uh, this one is uh, sticking out just a little bit. Uh, that neoprene, like I said, it's not, it's not uncomfortable. I'm not, I'm not hating it. Um, I think if I had to get to it, it's not, it's not a bad draw. Uh, and I think that that's mostly because of the fact that there's nothing holding it in there. Uh, again, it's too, you know, it's basically a, you know, like this and you put the gun in the middle and then the pressure of your, uh, the belt one way and then your body, the, uh, the other way, uh, just keeps the gun in place. Um, I am not comfortable with the fact that that neoprene is flopping down. Um, 
that's that's a concern. Uh, I think that maybe a solid piece of Kydex backing there, uh, maybe even just with the neoprene backing on it, would be great. I don't think that would be any problem. Um, I think I'll, I'll have to, you know, drive around, sit down with it, do some, you know, tug touches, some jumping jacks, whatever, uh, and try it out. But I think as far as as far as getting to it, getting to the gun, not a problem. Uh, and I know some people are going to say, well, you know, don't worry about that when you're reholstering because I know it, you know it, don't be in a hurry to reholster. If you have to take your gun out for a reason, keep it out, all right? You don't have to be in a hurry. If you've got the gun out, doing whatever you need to do, when you're ready to reholster that, you can take your time, make sure your gun's safe, point it, watch it, walk it all the way back down into the holster. Like I said, I feel like this isn't quite going in far enough because of that RMR. I'm not going to take the RMR off right now because uh, I don't want to. Uh, but other than the fact that it is kind of poking out just a little bit, um, I don't know. I guess I don't hate it uh, based on, you know, it is a, a fairly low profile. Um, I don't I don't usually do these clips. Um my my CNC holster there uh, is using the soft loops. I don't have anything against the clips necessarily, but um, I just feel like that they're a little more likely to, you know, if I lift my shirt up and it grabs onto that clip or something and and uh, pulls that holster out of uh, out of position of where it needs to be, I, I just don't want to mess with that. Uh, they, this does feel. I will say that this feels clip feels a lot sturdier than the ones on those other two guns, um, which might possibly be simply because it is a single big fat clip as opposed to uh, two of the smaller ones on the side of that cloak tuck. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the draw on it is fine. Um, I'm not hating it. Fortunately, actually, one thing I did notice is now is that the channel, the, uh, the front sight, uh, I do have uh, suppressor height sights on it since I uh, carry it with that with the RMR on, so I have suppressor height sights to, to go in and do that. Suppressor height sights are fitting just fine through this, so that's that's a plus. I didn't have to special order that or anything. Uh, so hey, you did you did something right on this, I guess. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll try it out. Um, I'll wear it around a little bit. Um, uh, I think maybe I'll try it with and without the armor. With with the armor, like I said, I don't think it's quite all the way in, but it's not moving. It's not. It's, it doesn't feel loose. Uh, I'm just. I am a little concerned about that that trigger being a little bit exposed back there. Uh, so I'll carry a little bit like that. Just you know, sort of um, go out to the desert, run some drills, try it out, and then uh, I'll take it off. See if we get a little a little better fit, uh, a little better. Uh, Clicking into place, like I said, there's no there's no retention on it, so it's not like it's got to reach down there and, and click a button, or it's it's not you know getting to a, a, a thumb release or anything like that. There's nothing on there to keep it in place. It's just it's just there. So yeah, I don't know. I guess it's not terrible, but time will tell. And I don't like I don't like that. I just. I just don't like that. I want this to be solid. You know, maybe I'll have I got some local Kydex folks. Maybe I'll have them put a little a little stick of Kydex in the back there to, <laughs> to to fix that up. I also kind of just don't like that it, this is two pieces. I don't like that you could see my that my gun is exposed right there, and then it just kind of if you take that off of there, it, it just falls right out. Uh, so. All that being said, uh, I'll try. I'll see if I can get in touch with if I can get in touch with Alien Gear about this because that should not be happening, but it is happening, and you see it. Oh, great retention, though. Ah.
It's a shame. I really wanted to carry this gun some more. No. Okay, so uh, that's it. Um, I'll keep everybody posted on updates of the review. Um, we'll see how it goes. And uh, maybe when we're done, maybe we'll have a giveaway. Yeah, that might be fun. All right. Stay tuned. See you guys later.